friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari. We're going to do uh, a Twin Flame reading today because we, have, we haven't done one in a while. So, um, <clears throat> so your counterpart is going to give you some messages, tell you where he or she is at at this moment, uh, what's going on in their lives, in their world, and some messages from the 3D for you, okay? Um, so we're going to start, oh, I got something in my eye, it's itching all of a sudden, um, with the um, archetype cards to see in what kind of energy he or she is. And I may switch from he or she to he, um, just because most of my um, viewers are females and most of those females have a male counterpart but we all know that that's not always the case so I apologize um, my counterpart is also male so it's so much easier for me so forgive me um, <clears throat> it can be both absolutely uh, it is both just um, switch to whatever gender you prefer um, <clears throat> Anyhow, this is not uh, gender specific by any stretch of the imagination. We're talking about energy. So the energy of your counterpart, whatever that is, okay? to see in what kind of energy they are at. Beautiful. Okay. Um, Midas or Miser. Light attribute is entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold. Delight in sharing life's riches. The shadow attribute of this is hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing, of losing your wealth. So these this cards I like because they have both um, the light attribute and the shadow attribute. And, and we can show both um, in any given situation. So that's what that is. And then this is the star code. Um, Star Coast Astro. Um, fifth house of passion. Okay. Um, and we see a beautiful painting of flowers, of white flowers with a center that's pink. So that's a lot of um, this passion. It's not only passionate, of course, it's also pure. Uh, the white represents pure and the pink represents love. So they're painting these beautiful flowers just for you, um, as you can see there. And this love is pure and it's passionate and it's absolutely love. Now, this is card number 43 and four is always balance. Um, three is... Um, I say sometimes that it's community, because it is, it's, it's the collective, it's community, um, it's a lot of people, but uh, it's also the Empress um, energy, um, and the Empress 
energy is um, very creative. She's pregnant in tarot, so she's incredibly creative. She's very um, she's she's very close to the earth. She's Mother Earth. Uh, so there's some she's very grounding there's a lot of creativity there's that sexual um passion but there's also that creative energy when you're you know you're definitely creative when you're creating a child and and this is a very creative um you know cars the the, the person there is doing a painting so they're in their creative mode and it could be arts and crafts. It could be a business. It could be just creating that space um, to bring you in. It can be all of those things. And this is the Moon Oracle. Why does my dog have to bark every time I'm recording? I don't understand. Oh, my son is here. That's why. It's just saying hello. Balsamic one in air moon seeds. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the yellow. Um, the yellow is the self esteem, confidence, personal power. Um, there's also orange, and the orange is the sacral, and the sexual is sexuality, pleasure, creativity. So you you see how it they all work together. We I can also see the yellow, and I just noticed that the yellow here is very prominent, and the and the green and the green is heart, the heart chakra. Um, so we can see the love here, and we can see the green here, and then the yellow, um, which is you know the 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 confidence, the personal power. Uh, the self-esteem but then also the sexuality that we have with the empress uh right here with the high priestess uh the empress oh, my goodness what's wrong with me the empress the three is the empress the two is the high priestess the three is the empress who's pregnant so is that creativity that we were talking about and the sexual power but then the number card here is a seven and the four and the three is also a seven i mean you really cannot make this stuff up uh and the seven is all about intuition creativity you know it's it's all of that um it's it's very deep and powerful intuition it's very uh it's very spiritual number very very spiritual number um well okay Beautiful. And this is monology. Surrender to the divine. So this is a full moon. Okay. This is a full moon. And the full moon is the middle of the cycle. Right. Uh, the new moon is the beginning of the cycle. The full moon is the middle of the cycle. Uh, of, of the lunation. Um, and it's a time to revisit. 
it's a time of revision it's a time to revisit um your choices um on the new moon in the new moon you you want to do your rituals you want to decide what is what you want for that month right for that cycle and um you put in place different things to you know to achieve your goals so in the middle of the lunation on the full moon is a good time to revisit those goals see how they're working see how they're going and the things that you have implemented if they worked or not so it's a, it's a good time for, for revision it's also uh illumination so it also it it illuminates what you've done see if it works or it doesn't work but it's also the, the full moon is where you can see the best at night right because the moon is illuminating so you may see things clear um in your relationship at this time or your counterpart is seeing things so much clear so he can he can he or she can definitely understand now um the pureness and the intensity of the love for you um <clears throat> i think he is um he or she are very uh in tune with their intuition and creating that space um using their intuition and their creativity uh to make the space for you now it's interesting because this is the midas and um so what's going on with the money here um they might be very focused or showing that they're very focused on uh, their business and making money instead of being focused on you and that might be just um a mask for the world maybe for themselves but i think it's more for the outside world world maybe um they're trying to protect you in some way um because they're being very illuminated i think they can see much more clear um the depth of your relationship and and the the depth of their feelings for you that's what i see here so this might just be a way for them to protect you to keep you outside of everybody else's mouth and thoughts and you know whatever so let's see what tarot has to say okay and this is the wandering star tarot I see a full moon right here. I see a full moon. That's beautiful. And it's very lighted up. It's almost like a sun. It's not a sun uh, because it's very white and the sun, you don't see it white in the sky. It's very much a moon, but it's very lighted up. So this is definitely letting us know how enlightened he is or she is, how much clearer they are now uh to you know the depth of, of of your relationship and their feelings for you oh that's beautiful that's a big moon right there very bright very bright moon all right So even though they have this illumination, they're feeling very disempowered. The, the, their self-esteem is really, really low at this time. And it's interesting that we got um, the solar plexus here and here because that's all about self-esteem. That's all about self-esteem. But the nine of pentacles in reverse is all about low self-esteem. They do not. Because when it's in the, in the you know, right side up it's all about being in your power so they're not being in their power 
So they don't feel very balanced and we saw the balance um, for here. So yeah, their, their self-esteem is really low. So the, um, I almost feel like a tower moment and I don't see the tower here at all, but it, it I think, I think the, oof, this is really strong energy. Um, I feel that the clarity of this right here has shaken him or her up really to the core. I think that they were hiding behind this illusion of, I don't care, this is my life, I'm just gonna focus on my business or my work or making money or whatever that is. And because I, you know, yeah, I, you know, feel for this person, but you know, that's in the past, whatever. Uh, and all of a sudden it has come up. It has come up with a vengeance. It has come up with such strength that it has shaken this person. And all of a sudden they, they're, they're not sure what to do. And they are, you know, with the, the self-esteem very low because it's almost like, um, understanding that they they have lived a whole life they have lived a whole life in the dark like um like a lie you know in this facade uh that's not true that's um that they've been lying to almost themselves not just the world but themselves uh they've been hiding behind this because facing the love Facing the intensity of the love for you makes them realize that they have to do something about it. So they've been hiding for a long, long time. So the Knight of Cups is this beautiful energy of wanting to bring you. Uh, it's a it's like a proposal. Is 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 wanted to tell you uh, about their love for you, but it's in the reverse. They can't because their their self esteem is so low. They can't. They don't know how to do this. They don't know how to approach you. They might be even be in fear of you not accepting them, uh, of them waiting too long, uh, of them. Um, having messed up the last time they were with you or what while, while they were with you. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's just that feeling of what am I going to do now? I have all these feelings and I just don't know what to do. It's, it's that feeling and it's very intense. I can feel it all over my body. It's very, very, very intense. <clears throat> so you know in their minds they have this beautiful energy of giving and receiving and i love that her dress is um almost like a rainbow so it's it's a it's a very it's is the universe letting us know that all kinds of love are well received and honored here, which we definitely are. Um, <clears throat> so he or she are in this incredible energy of, I want to give you love, but I want to feel your love too. And I know you have love for me. And I know that I messed up in some kind of way because now I'm afraid uh but this is all I want not only that they have the ten of pentacles in mind this is what they want this is what they want they want a family they want um you all to be together so right now they're holding this space. They're trying to figure out how to bring you in or how to return to your world. 
but they may be very overwhelmed with the intensity of, of the feeling because there's a lot of fear over here. There's a lot of fear. And then they have this um, Eight of Cups energy. And this is a card of change. This is a card of, okay, I got all my cups in my hands. And I just need to change my perspective. If I want this to come to me, if I want this person uh, all this passion, all this purity and love. Um, I want to make, I need to make a change. That's why I, I said at the beginning, I feel a tower moment. Um, not just because the, the intensity has hit this person like a ton of bricks and shaken them up. But now they they know that they must do something different. They have to change something. And that's why they've been hiding for so long. Because under, having that understanding implies change. Either you change or you don't have it. You cannot not have the change and have this person. You have to have that change. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if we can clarify here <clears throat> and get more details on um, what is going on here. What are we talking about more, more specifically? More specifically. Um, so why the Nine of Pentacles? Oh, my goodness. Hold my side of my finger which so strongly um so why the nine of pentacles Whew. i know what we got um The cycle have definitely end, ended and maybe something has happened to them so strongly. I think the realization made them feel so hurt. But I think something may have happened that have pushed them to the, to the limit. And that was so hurtful. Now, this already happened. This happened in the past. Uh, but they have still feelings of that hurt. They, they still feel that hurt. Um, it's not as intense as it was at the beginning, but they still have uh, some of that, those hurt feelings. And, you know, this is another three. And threes in reverse um, mean... Uh, a call to go inside because the threes are the empress but the threes are also people and being with people and socializing so when they are in the reverse is is a call to go inside but also this person this person is in action this person is this this person is ready to go out in an adventure this person is this person has planned this person is ready to go this person is on the move uh this person is already in action mode but it's in the reverse so this person is so afraid that that action mode has all of a sudden put on a break a very strong break so now this person has all these um, hurt feelings and 
he or she have a plan in their head. They have all this love, but then they have all this fear that don't let them really move. They know they have to move. They know that they, they must make a change if they want this happy family with you, but the pain is so strong that, and the fear is so strong that they just can't move. It's almost like they start and then they stop. And then they, you know, gather a little bit of momentum and they go and then they stop. All right. Um, the Knight of Cups. Why the Knight of Cups? You see, that's movement. It's slow movement, but it's movement, but it's in the reverse. They just can't. They just can't move. Why the Knight of Cups? So this person is very solid. This person is in a good place. Um, he's stable, um, probably stable financially, but has a lot of issues um, communicating. Has a lot of issues communicating um, feelings. Probably he's, he or she are not used to speaking about feelings because they're all only used talking about business because they've been hiding behind that but they have everything on their side to make that change and I think they know that I think they know they have the ability the magician has all the elements of tarot they have the sword and the cup and the pentacle and the one and they have the infinity sign the 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 universe is with him it is a very bright yellow so it's very illuminated uh it's it, it is sunny it has all the universe behind him and it has the infinity this is never ending this is not one day that we are lucky or that we are no 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 this this is power this is their superpower. It's also card number one. So it's definitely a new beginning. So they know that they have all the elements. They just have a really hard time communicating those feelings. So they want to bring you this cup. But first, they're so afraid. And then they don't know how to say that. They don't know how to come and say, I love you. I love you and I just want to be with you and I want to do whatever it takes to bring you into my world or to come into your world. They just can't say that. They know that they have the ability to make it happen, but it's hard for them to say it. So if your person, and I'm going to turn that around. I'm going to turn this one around too. So we start moving the energies. So if, if your person is kind of, you know, when they call you or when they text you, um, if, if you are in any kind of communication there, it, it, it's hard for them to say it. Just give them, you know, give them a little time, give them a break because they do have the love. They do feel it. They just know how to express it. And because they've been for a long, long time not having to express it because they couldn't face it, right? <clears throat> so they're out of practice. Language of love. Um, people have different ways of expressing love. And being able to say to somebody how much they feel for you, it's, it's practice. It's a muscle. So... If they haven't practiced in a long time, they're really good at the business language, but not the love language, okay? So give them a break. So why the Six of Pentacles?
Wow. <laughs> So look what we got. <clears throat> look what we got. So there's some movement. Okay, there's some movement. Uh, because we got this in the reverse. So uh this is this is a this is a card of feeling stuck. This is a card of feeling um trapped, right? But when it's in the reverse that blindfold is going to fall off. Those ties are going to fall off. And as soon as that blindfold falls, that person is going to see that there's a lot of swords, but behind her, there's nothing in the front. She can just walk away. She's really not trapped. So your person's been feeling really, really trapped in, in a situation that they don't care for in a situation that they don't love. But the fact that this card came into the reverse, it means that we're going to start seeing some movement as we go through the, um, the reading, you see they start to move. They, they, at the beginning of the reading, the first line, it was all fear. And then that fear started to move. And then they became the magician. And now their blindfolds are falling off. And then they can, rec can recognize that the situation, if they're in a, in a relationship, they see that that relationship is just not working out. They can see it. They're definitely being very illuminated. I can still see that moon really um, uh, shining really bright right here. So they are realizing that they are not really stuck, that they have the ability to change that. And whatever relationship they're on is just not working out. You know why? Because it's not you. Because it's not you. So why the Ten of Pentacles? Wow, look at this. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. We got the nine of pentacles in the reverse right here. So because they are working really hard, they are working really hard and not seeing the fruits of their labor because this is what they want and they're not getting it. So the only thing that they have gotten is low self-esteem. It's a sense of failure. It's a sense of, um, and maybe they're making money, but it's empty. There's nobody to share it with. They just work, 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 work. And what do they get? They get nothing. So they're only working for that money and they're getting that money, but then it's, there's nothing because, uh, Trust me, you can have a lot of money. If you don't have anybody to share with, if you don't have a life that you can share with somebody, somebody that's meaningful to you, somebody that honors you and loves you and cares for you, it means nothing. You can have everything material, but you're going to feel empty. Empty. And why the Eight of Cups? Well, 
they need they know that they have to change because they're looking at the past they're looking at the past and they're being illuminated not only illuminated they've been healed by that past they're looking at the past but now they're looking at it with um with a lantern so they can see better they can see better and they can only remember those moments and they're reminiscing on that past that past that was so innocent look at the white flowers right the white flowers that we had at the beginning and all that and the fact that they're children is that innocent of course you could have been very very young when you all uh, met uh, that could also be true, but the fact that their children speaks about innocence, the, the, the innocence and the purity of that love, of that cup that that child is offering to the other child. It's just innocent. It's pure. It was real. It was the real deal. And now they can see that. They can not only see that, they can see this, that this, whatever they have going on, if they have something going on, is just not working out. Wow, that's powerful. <clears throat> so let's see some, some more messages of where he or she is at and what kind of energy what kind of space they're at and how they're feeling for you So, wow, this is, this is incredible. Um, so this is what, what they're feeling for you, your, their stability, your, your, their security, your, their growth, their endurance, their performance, their flexibility. It's like a palm tree, you know, um, the palm trees, um, in, in, even in a hurricane, they they move and they're very flexible but most of the time most of the time they stay put they stay grounded so that's who you are for for them um it doesn't matter the hurricane you stay strong for them you are the one that keeps them strong like that Wow, and you're their mirror. So this could be uh, a twin flame, right? Yeah, your counterpart is most definitely a twin flame, and that's you know what we said in the beginning that we were gonna do. Uh, twins um, mirror each other. Whatever you're struggling, they're struggling with. Whatever you're succeeding, they're succeeding with. Whatever you're feeling, they're feeling. It might be in a different way, but it's a mirror of each other because your twin is half of you. It's not, it's not half of you. You are you. Uh, but your twin um, is, the, is, is the same soul that decided to, um, to reincarnate into different people because they um, wanted, needed to learn different lessons. But it's part of just one soul so your twin is going to be your twin forever and everybody has a twin but not every twin is reincarnated at the same time so it's i know it's a thing now but um it's not very common 
is actually very uncommon. Um, but anyhow, your twin is your mirror, for sure. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or, or meeting. Hesitation. So they're coming. I'm telling you. They're, they're holding this space for you. They're really, they know that now they know. Now they know. Now there's no hiding again. Now they know. And they're coming. They're coming for you. So if he or she was here right now, what would they say? What would they say to you? What would they say to you if they were here right now? I know I messed up everything. Didn't I say that? They know that. That's why they are so afraid and have low self-esteem because they know they messed up. It's time for me to heal now. And they are healing. We talked about that with this card. They can look at the past, but they're not only seeing it more clearly, they're healing, right? It's time for me to heal now. That's why I said you need to give them a minute because this, this realization has shaken them to the core. So they need to get it together. They really do. They really do. They know. They know what they have to do. They just need a minute. And I know that's hard to hear. That's not what you want to hear. But he's, they're, they're coming. He or she's coming. They're coming. Okay? <coughs> <coughs> but they're healing. I replay our conversations over and over. Yeah. They're definitely reminiscing on the past. On what they live with you. I replay our conversations over and over and see how they can say, I love you. They can say that because they're in this energy right now. And, and the king of, of swords is, you know, the king of swords is great for business. Uh, he is sharp. Um, you know, it's it's what you think about um, a lawyer, a judge, a politician, somebody like that. That is not talking about love and connection and being emotional. You know, they're detached from that. It can also be somebody in a very high up position, a CEO or, or a business owner, somebody like that. So, uh, but they're not lobby dobby for sure. So as you say, they had a chance to talk to you and that's what they show, that's what they choose to say. And they never said love. They never said anything like that because they can, they're still in that energy, but they're moving. They're moving. They're definitely moving. Wow. That was really powerful. It was powerful. It was very clear too. So, um, so thank you for being here. If you want details like this for your own situation, uh, don't hesitate to go on my website and schedule a private uh, reading there. It's very easy. You just choose the day and the time and, and there you go, your schedule. Um, <clears throat> and I'll be so honored to serve you. So honored to serve you. Um, and for the video, please, um, if you find value in the video, uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and hit like. All right. And if you can leave me a comment in the comment section below, I would really appreciate that. Even just an emoji helps the algorithm of YouTube. It helps me stay here 
and it helps you to promote my video so other people can find it uh, with more ease. All right. So with that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.